Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So I have not filmed in a while. I think I've said that in the past like few videos, but it's like true. I've only been able to film like once every three weeks. I got a second job, so I'm filming while I have the chance because I really want to play with some makeup. I've had this new makeup sitting here forever. I'm going to do a little haul first. I have my Ipsy for the month of October plus a little haul from a few different places. So I'm just going to jump right in and get into the Ipsy. The theme this month is Pretty Wicked. It has nothing about the products in it. It's just this. The bag last October was like a astrological circle and stuff like I still have it. It's just put away. I actually really like both of them. They're two of my favorite bags. So... First, I have stuff I redeemed for points. The first thing is the Pacifica Glimmer Shimmer Highlighter and Blush in Firelit and Glimmer Shimmer. It looks like this. Pacifica products are pretty. They have a mirror on the back. I am actually going to save this for a future giveaway because, I mean, it looks very similar to my Wet n Wild one. So, I don't need to. So, I'll put that aside for a future giveaway. And then I redeemed points for the Astrolite Sea from Space Highlighter. Kaleido Cosmetics in the shade. Flare. So this is the packaging. And this is the shade. It's on a little dough. Ooh. As a highlight or as an eyeshadow. It is very sparkly, but not glitter. It's like shimmer. That is really pretty. It's like a rose gold champagne. I just want to like paint my whole body in it. The texture feels like it will dry down to like a powdery feel like a soft matte type of feel okay and now let's get into the bag so i did not do any add-ons this time because i'm trying to be better about money so the first thing that they chose for me is the Douce or Douche Posh Powder Palette. It is a six pan blush and highlighter palette. It has three highlights and three blushes. The packaging is nice and sleek. It has a huge mirror. And here are the shades. I did swatch each color of the blush and the highlights 
because like just the very edge of them just so I could see the color because I was thinking about my I just did a huge declutter and I just don't need this it kind of looks like if you cover up like these two it looks just like the color pop or if you cover up these two highlights it looks just like the little color pop quad I have so if you don't mind that it's been slightly touched I shouldn't have touched it but I mean I know so does life gives away her one time used makeup this I just barely touched. I'm going to put it in a future giveaway. Just know that I have touched it. If you don't mind, whenever the giveaway happens, I'll let you know that that's in it. And if you don't care, you can have it. If you care, I'll give it to someone else. The next thing they chose for me was the Wonder Beauty Staycation Hydrating Mask. I love Wonder Beauty products. So this is a two-in-one. It has peptides, ceramide, cranberry seed oil. It's a three-in-one mask, moisturizer, and skin treatment. So you can put a layer on for 10 to 15 minutes as a mask or you can use it as a moisturizer. It's just a milky gel. It has absolutely no scent and I have used it both ways because I've had this bag for two weeks now, two and a half, three weeks. It came on like the 7th, and today is like the 22nd. I just have not had the time. I love this. I love it both ways. I love it as a mask, and I love it as a moisturizer. The thing I chose was the Arcelli bb brow bb brow pencil in dark brown so it's just a standard little brow pencil it looks like it's going to have a nice thin tip i love brow products i have too many hey stop it Okay. I hate this kind of packaging. Yay. Oops. Oh yeah, that's a nice thin tip. It does look like a nice deep espresso brown. It's a cool brown, which I like. So that's awesome. Can't wait to try that. I just love brow pencils. Even though I have like white blonde hair, I will always have dark brows. I just will. The next thing I chose is the Real Her You Are Golden Power Wear Ombre Bronzer. Now I know in my last Etsy I got the shades by Sean Bronzer, which is a matte bronzer that I absolutely love. But the, there just wasn't that much to choose from. And I did, like I said, I did declutter. So... I got rid of quite a few bronzers. Like, I love the packaging. I don't like real her eyeshadows and stuff. I don't know why it says ombre either, because it's not. It's just a warm brown with glitter in it. So this is a shimmery bronzer. 
looks very pigmented. That's the shade right there. Let me try to blend it out. It looks like it blends out really, really seamlessly. I want to compare it to my Essence, the Glow in Gold's Vitamin E Baked Bronzer. They look exactly alike. Like, exactly. They are like the same thing. <laughs> Essence one, I am going to pass along and I'm going to keep the real her one. The Essence one, the pack, it's a little bit deeper, but not by much. Like they are the same exact shade, so I don't need both of them. I've only used it like twice and it's a baked bronzer. So, you know, baked bronzers don't look like they've been used like at all. So if you don't care, I will throw this into a giveaway also as an extra into the next giveaway. But yeah, got the Real Her You Are Golden Bronzer. And then the last thing that I chose was the Viseart Petite Pro Un, which I think is the first one. I have already gotten the Petite Pro Dukes, which is, I think, the second one. So this is the one that I chose. I love how little they are, and I love the way they're packaged. So this is a very cool tone one, and I actually like it a lot more. It still has all the packaging. I actually like it quite a bit more than this one, but I have already used this one. And I just, I don't need both. I have these colors, so I don't, even though I love that cool brown and that taupey shimmer. I kind of wish I would have got this one first and this one second so I could give away this one. But I am going to throw this into a giveaway, a future giveaway, because I don't need, I don't need it. I don't really need this one either, but, ah, but, um, What was I going to say? But I don't have any other things from Viseart, so I'm going to keep it just so I have something from Viseart. But that was everything that came in my Ipsy for October. Not the best bag, not the worst. It's okay. So from Walmart, I got a couple of things. I got the... Oma by Sharon C. Brow Pencil, the one and done. The mascara, fucking love. It's only like seven, eight bucks. The eye brow pencil, seven, eight bucks. And it's a double sided one. So you get a brow pencil on this side, which isn't the thinnest, but it is thin. And I'll tell you the issue with this in a second. And then on the other side, you get. A brow gel with super tiny spo spoily spoolie. So you don't have a spoolie. Now this is what I'm wearing in my brows today. I got it in shade six. That is how they're numbered. They're numbered one through nine, I think. And 
it doesn't tell you a shade like ash brown, cool brown, medium brown, blonde, taupe. They just have numbers. And I'm not going to sit there and open up all the shades so it's been touched by me and other people buy it. You know what I mean? So I'd have to open it up, screw it up, look at the color, look at the gel, and then put it back in and that lowers its shelf life. You know what I mean? So I just chose... I was like, I know I like my brows a little bit deeper, but not black, so I'm going to go a f quarter of the way, like a fourth of the way out of five. I, I don't know how to explain it. I just chose, and it's a little bit warmer than I would like. I think I would go to number seven or eight, maybe, or maybe get a blonde one, a taupey. Oh. A cool taupe. I don't know. I like it. I just don't really like the color. I picked up the Hard Candy New Chilling Wonder Powder. Sheer Envy Loose Powder. It's hydrating. I heard this is supposed to be like the Becca one. That I didn't really like. But this one is supposed to be better. I know Juicy Jazz really likes it. cold to the touch like the Becca one feels very finely milled you get 10.2 grams for six dollars that's pretty good from the Mean Girls and Profusion collection I was gonna get a palette and this but I was like they were so boring they wouldn't have added anything to my collection so no but i got the you glow glen coco candy gram number one there was two shades of this one light to medium and one medium to tan it didn't look like it went very deep at all so that was kind of disappointing Like this. Has a highlight, shimmery blush, and a contoury bronzer. I like Profusion products, so. A shimmery blush. That highlight is pretty though. That is a very light contour. Very shimmery blush. Very pretty highlighter. It looks like it's going to be really good for my um, skin tone, which is good. And then from Ulta, I got the what? Powerpuff Girls and Colourpop palette. I just, I couldn't not get it because I have the Sailor Moon, Barbie, and Lizzie McGuire. And I don't, I just, I had to have it. It kind of looks like a couple other palettes I have, but I mean, those greens are unique. I'm happy to have it. I love it. It has a mirror. It has the girls. It has the shades on the back. I'm excited to have it. And I got the new NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So it was called the 
face and body concealer infused with tremella mushroom I got mine in the shade vanilla yeah vanilla it feels very gel like and lightweight which I like I'm excited to try that <clears throat> I sound very monotone right now okay and then the next order I have is from makeup revolution so I got one of their sponges because it was on sale and I didn't realize it was the ultimate powder sponge set finish buff you can use it wet for creams and stuff but it's one of those velvet sponges and I just I ordered a beauty blender off of Ipsy so I don't really want this I don't really like the um, velvet sponges so I'm gonna set this aside for a giveaway I got the brow blade in brown and you see right there it has like that tiny little micro tip and it even says micro blade brow so one end you get a spoolie which is awesome and then the other end is this it's micro but it's a freaking rectangle The color looks like I'm going to really like it, but it's a rectangle. That is not, that's not micro. <laughs> I got something I've been wanting for a really long time. I got the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer with Vitamin C in light. Let's see if I can get a good Cool. Where did my tweezers go? Oh, no. Okay. So it's one of these sponge tips. It looks separated, so I'm going to shake it. I've seen a few people use this. Oh, it's already coming out. And they really liked it. It seems very sheer. Like, I think it's a dupe for the Charlotte Berry Contour Wand if you get a deeper shade. It's just going to all come flying out. Ah! Okay, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so that looks like a good shade. Like, it came in the shades, like, light, um, tan, stuff like that. It feels thick. I thought it was going to feel lightweight. It feels thick. Like, the NYX one definitely feels thinner. I got the Power Lash Volume. That was a good one. Mascara. It was on sale. Oh, that looks like a Dollar Tree wand. But the packaging is cute. It's in black. And then the two things that I'm super, super excited about. 
like the reason I made the order. They were having a sale first off, but also I just wanted these. So I got the Revolution and DC Batman highlighter. I got the Batman one because it was the closest to my skin tone. It has a little mirror. It's a little chunky. It has a little bat. Oh, but boy does Revolution know how to do highlight. That is gonna look beautiful. It feels chunky when you like touch it, but that's how Revolution highlights are. Then they just go on the face so smooth. Now what I'm really excited about, I got the Harley Quinn Pudding Daddy's Little Monster Eyeshadow Palette. It's just called the Harley Quinn Eyeshadow Palette. They made a whole DC collection. So it looks like this. protective sheets but and it has a mirror the shade names are on here so these are the colors so starting from the purple going why does that look blue on camera that is, oh, it is blue. Okay, starting from the bluish purple, the blurple, going this way, this way, and this way, we have Crazy, Mr. Rotten, the hot pink is Puddin', the blue is Chaos, Monster, the mint green is Doll, Bad Guys, and Wild Side. I think I'm going to keep that just because... I want to try Ooh. so there's like shimmer and metallic Ooh. I got to keep going. at those that's all of them except for this one is just a light pinkish purple. I'm so excited. I'm gonna keep the little plastic sheet so I know the shade names, but I am so excited to use that. I think I'm gonna use that palette before the Powerpuff Girls, just because. But yeah, that is my little haul. 
my third my 30 minute haul I talked really slow in this I'm sorry I will have more energy in the next video I swear to you I don't know why I don't have any like motivation right now I do know why but that's neither here nor there I talked about that in a past video but the giveaway items are adding up I need some oil there will be a giveaway very very soon But yeah, now I am going to go and I'm going to get this stuff situated and use some of it in a video. Film a trying new makeup video. I definitely want to play with the Harley palette and I'll do the Powerpuff Girls in another video. But I'm really excited about the Harley palette. Okay, that is all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or what you think about any of them. I'm excited to try this Astro Light too from Kaleidos. I really love Kaleidos. I wish they would send me PR. I wish any brand would send me PR. <laughs> I am. That's why I'm trying to slow down. I decluttered, got rid of a lot that I just wasn't using. No, I'm not going to use. And... There's no reason for me to have it when someone else can enjoy it. And I'm going to only try to buy stuff that I really, 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 really want or need or know that I love. Like I repurchased one of my pressed powders after I did the declutter. The Maybelline Matte and Poreless and Translucent. The little square box. I love that powder to no end. I will use it alone. It makes your skin look so beautiful. So, like, I will only buy stuff if I really want it or need it. And, yeah. I don't know about this Ipsy being $30. I think that's a little too much. I don't really think it's worth it. But we'll see how the next bag goes. Let me know down below what you think. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!